Welcome to our review on detecting anions. First thing then we really need to consider is what is an anion, what is a cation? Because we've used these phrases, but we don't really know what they mean. Anytime you see that word anion, then we're talking about a negative ion. And it's got the name anion because it's the one that's attracted to the anode. The cation is the positive ion because that one is attracted to the cathode. So we need to know how to identify three different types of anion. The first one is how we're going to test for sulfate ions. So the sulfate ion has that chemical formula of SO42 minus. And the way that we test for that is we'd have our solution with the unknown chemical in there. We add a few drops of dilute hydrochloric acid, first of all, and then we add a few drops of barium chloride. If we end up with a white precipitate forming in the tube, we've got sulfate ions. If we don't get a white precipitate, no sulfate ions. And the reason that we get that white precipitate is because we're making barium sulfate. So the reaction we see is at the bottom there, our barium ion, Ba2+, reacts with our sulfate ion, SO42- minus, to make barium sulfate, BaSO4. The second anion we may want to test for is the carbonate ion, so CO32 minus. The way we do this is we add a few drops of hydrochloric acid, and if carbonate ions are present, we end up with little bubbles of gas being made, because we're going to make carbon dioxide in this case. So again, I've given you the equation at the bottom there to show you the reaction that's occurring. So Hydrochloric acid, it's an acid. The ion it has is hydrogen. So we've got 2H plus and we've got our carbonate ion, CO3 2 minus. They're going to react together to make carbon dioxide, CO2, and water, H2O. The last anion we need to test for are the halide ions. Now halide ions are just the ions of the halogens in group 7. So the way that we're going to carry out this test is that we add a few drops of dilute nitric acid, first of all, and the whole purpose of that is to remove any other ions that are present to avoid getting a confusing precipitate colour. Once we've done that, we add a few drops of silver nitrate solution, and then, depending on what colour precipitate we make, that tells us what halide ion is present. So if we end up with a white precipitate, it's chloride ions. If it's a cream precipitate, it's the bromide ions. If it's a yellow precipitate, it's the iodide ions. So hopefully at the end of this video, you can now describe tests to, to actually detect our sulfates, carbonates and halides, and you can identify compounds from test results. One of the key kinds of questions they're gonna ask you about here is they're gonna give you a table which has got the results of several different tests that we've looked at and ask you to identify what's present and to justify how you did that. So you really do need to know these tests and what colours you form in each one.